everyone! I wanted to make a little video today because I received a really exciting message on Instagram last week now and it was from Fujifilm Instax, a company that I adore, I love using their products and basically they're doing a new campaign and they wanted kind of the general public to be involved. So they're running this thing across their social channels where you just literally have to say hi on uh, their like posts. So to be safe, I wrote hi on basically every one that they did. And then I got this message saying, uh, is it all right if we send you a camera that you can keep and then you take some photos with it and send one of them back to us? And I was like, hell yeah, you can send me a camera for free. I'm not gonna turn that down. I went and picked up this package this morning and I thought it'd be quite fun to do a little unboxing video for you guys. If you haven't got a clue what Instax cameras are, they're basically like the modern version of Polaroids. So imagine that sort of taking a photo and it comes out instantly and you watch it develop. It's really fun, I love it. I've got a massive collection of them and I'm super excited to add a new camera to my collection. First thing I want to talk about is something really cute that arrived with the camera and it's this little card from Fujifilm and it's actually an Instax that they've attached to it and I just think that's really cute. It reminds me of Pokemon, like I choose you, they chose me. <laughs> I'll move on to the camera itself. It is this camera, so it's the Instax Mini 70 and I don't think I've ever seen one of these in person, so this is very exciting. So we've got a little sleeve here, very fancy, and it says on there it comes with 10 shots already, which is really exciting. So here is the box, nice and snazzy and grey. It's also got a little drawing of it there. My friend Nicole I saw on Facebook yesterday received one of these. She obviously commented on the post. So she's part of the campaign as well, which is really exciting. She got a different camera to me though. She got the, oh I can't remember that. I'll insert a photo, I can't remember which one it is. They're all numbers. So we've got a big chunky manual there, which I probably won't read. I might have a little flip through, but I've used instant cameras enough to kind of know the gist of them. So we've got the camera there some batteries for it which is always helpful and film most importantly so let's get everything out and they normally send a strap as well so i wonder if they have to put this can't get into the cardboard got a little strap there i don't know what this is for what is this i guess i'll have to read the manual for that bit most importantly Can't have an Instax camera without some film. <laughs> and obviously, we have the one and only, the beautiful, ooh, Instax Mini 70. This is a really snazzy camera, I really like it. So I have the Instax Wide 210, the Instax Mini 25, which are now essentially given to Leo. And then my latest one is the Instax Mini Classic Neo 90. Yeah, that's what it's called. So I think this one is kind of one or two cameras below it, but it's really nice. It feels really lightweight already. I think it might be a similar weight to my 90 or maybe a little bit lighter. Flash on the front there. This is the viewfinder. Got a little mirror here. So if you are taking a selfie with it, you can uh, kind of compose yourself with that mirror there. I really like the finish of it. It's really nice and really kind of like chic in a way. The battery compartment here, which I will pop open. So just like that, let's get the batteries. Batteries are in. Now let's do the film. To get the film in on this one, there's a little switch here, and if we pull that, this bit will pop open. Instax put a little yellow tab on the film there, so you always want the yellow tab up in this corner here. So it slips in like that. And now, when I close the film compartment, a black bit of plastic will always come out first, and this is just like almost like a test for the camera. So even if the camera isn't on, this film should come out. So it's not actually a piece of film, just something to the camera knows that there's film in there. So with this one, you do actually have to take a photo and then the black 
piece of plastic will come out. So your first shot with this camera, don't make it an actual shot because it won't be. So... Okay. So it's just a bit of plastic, um, which was essentially the front or back, I can't remember, of the pack of film. And now that's out of the way, you can go and take photos. So as you'll see, it'll come up with how many shots you have on this little panel. I hope you can see that, yeah. And you can see that that's where the yellow tab needs to line up. So you'll see it in the disc there. Basically, you've got the power button here. And I'll turn the camera on and off. The lens is really quick and opening on this one. I'm quite impressed. I think on mine, it's a, my Instax Neo 90, it's a little bit slower. So this is like the selfie button, effectively and it will uh, change the focal length slightly, which is pretty awesome. This is a timer mode, which is also really cool. So if you don't want it to be a selfie, but you still want to be in the photo, you can set it up. There is a tripod mount at the bottom there, so you're able to put it up onto a tripod. So that's just, uh, I guess, an auto mode. And then you've got a macro, and it does change the uh, focal length of the um, of the lens. You can see the lens move. I'll show you that in a moment. So that's like a landscape mode, so for far away objects. That's just a flash setting. And then for high key lighting. So as I'm pressing the various buttons, you can see the camera's length, uh, lens length will change, which is interesting. I really like the look of this camera so far. I think it looks really nice, looks really chic. I do definitely prefer the modern designs of the Instax cameras. The older ones, they're a bit more clunkier, and I think that's kind of just due to how the technology of it has changed and how they can make them a bit more compact. Yeah, they, they've almost like grown up the Instax cameras, which is really, really nice. I am really excited to test this out. I would take it out with me today, but it looks like the weather's a bit rainy and horrid, so um, I might not. I might try it out, but not film myself trying it out, but I could follow this up with a blog post, kind of doing a bit more of an in-depth review. Um, I literally just wanted to show you <laughs> what's in the box and like the basics of the camera and setting it up. But basically, as soon as you put the batteries and the film in, you are good to go, so. It's really, really simple. Thank you so much to Instax for sending me this camera and asking me to be part of this campaign. I'm really excited to see what they're gonna be doing with all the images. And uh, yeah, I will let you know like where they're viewable as soon as I know. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up if you have and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me in the future. I hope you're all well and I will see you in my next video. Bye.